Welcome back to the HOE Pipes YouTube channel. It's been a long time, about eight years since I last posted on here. Um, in that time, it's been a, an amazing ride. And I wanted to start this video off by thanking all of you for supporting not only my brand, but myself and my family um, through the ups and downs. Um, I know a lot of you know the history of the radiator pipe, but for those of you that don't, I'll give you a brief summary. Um, in 2012, um, my son was born, Peter, and he had a lot of health complications when he was young. And in 2014, uh, those health complications caught up with him. His biological heart uh, had failed him and ended up in a hospital two provinces over um, that's where in Canada, um, in Edmonton, at the Stollery Children's Hospital, that's where uh, a lot of the pediatric cardiac patients go uh, when they need help. So we were stuck in the hospital uh, for seven months, uh, myself and him, uh, while he waited for a heart transplant. During that time, um, I spent a lot of sleepless nights in a hotel not knowing what to do, uh, trying to figure out where the next mortgage payment's coming from. Uh, so I decided to uh, design a pipe that could be manufactured, um, that wasn't entirely made by me because I didn't have the time. Uh, during that time, I met some amazing pipe makers in Edmonton. Um, I met Ian Barnes, Cody Perkins. Um, Cody let me use his workshop, his garage, at night, when him and his wife were sleeping and my son was sleeping at the hospital, I would be at his garage at night making bowls. And uh, if you look back at some of my YouTube videos, you'll see me introduce the pipe and I'm sitting on the bed in a Ronald McDonald house, um, which is where I was staying after the first three months in a hotel, I switched to a Ronald McDonald house. Anyway, uh, I introduced the pipe. Uh, the pipe community was very supportive they sold out almost immediately and I, I had a hard time keeping them in stock. Um, in 2015, luckily, my son got a heart transplant. He's been doing great ever since. He's been very healthy. He still has some health issues that will be with him for the rest of his life, but for the most part, he's doing really, really good. Um, and I've been able to stay with him that entire time. Um, you guys helped fund uh, my ability to keep a roof over his head and I will forever be grateful for that to the to the whole community um, I've met some of my best friends through the pipe community over the years um, and they're just so supportive so over the years this the, the radiator pipe and the brand has grown I've introduced new colors new shapes new bowls new materials uh, and so on, some different accessories like the piston tamper and at, at one point the Redeemer cigar tool. Um, but um, I'm at a point with the brand that I think um, it has done what it needs to do for me personally. Um, and I would like to do something to show my gratitude to the community that helped birth it that helped support me over the years, and that is to give the radiator pipe back to the community. So what I mean by that is, up until now, the radiator pipe has been my intellectual property, uh, meaning uh, nobody is allowed to reproduce it, um, but that's no longer the case. I'm going to make the radiator pipe public domain uh, in the coming weeks. I will be posting and uh, publishing all the technical drawings, all the details, uh, all the specs, materials, etc., and allowing the community to make their own if they would like. Um, so any pipe makers out there who want to make bowls for it can definitely do so. Um, I'll give you all the information you need to do it yourself. You can contact me if you need any help on how to do it. Um, I will also be releasing all the drawings, etc., for the frames themselves. So if there's a company out there or if somebody would like to start a company 
and um, would like to use the radiator design, they are free to do so. Um, I am fully relinquishing the designs. So that is my way of giving back to the community. Um, so if anybody out there would like to, has always wanted to experiment with it, uh, they're free to do so. Um, what that also means is all the current inventory that I have uh, will be sold off through my website um, at a severely reduced rate. So right now, uh, prices are live on my website. Prices are at 50% of MSRP. So it is a little bit above the cost of manufacturing, but I just need to cover the cost of it. Um, so if you go to the website right now, you'll see 50% off everything. And I will continue to sell all my inventory. Um, I might in the future introduce a special one-off run here and there, but the goal right now is to not have it be my full-time job anymore. To resume my career now that my son is stable and my personal life is stable. Uh, to resume my career, uh, which is what I did before pipe making. Um, and I'd like to see you guys pick up the gauntlet and see what you can do with it. Um, so that's the plan. And I have a very large inventory of uh, radiator bases, frames, etc., and mouthpieces. I have thousands of mouthpieces. As you know, when you go into production high volume, uh, I paid for molds to make the mouthpieces uh, injection molded. So I have thousands of those, and uh, they're up on the website as well, highly uh, reduced. So if you want to design your own radiator pipe or something, even something similar, and you just need a mouthpiece that fits a 316 stainless steel tube or other material tube, um, I've got mouthpieces up on the website. Uh, they're sold in five packs now, um, which is uh, fairly affordable. Um, so I just, again, wanted to thank you guys very, very much for supporting me throughout the years. I, uh, I couldn't have done it without you guys. There was many dark days in my personal life my son and other things that the, the community has helped me through not only emotionally but financially and uh, I can never thank you guys enough and this is the least I can do to try and pay you guys back. Um, I plan to stay in the community. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I can't wait to go to another pipe show. It's been a while just for personal reasons but uh, I hope to see you guys and gals all there in Chicago, in Las Vegas, in upcoming shows, and uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. If anybody wants to reach out, uh, feel free to do so through my website or through social media uh, by direct messaging me. You can, if you have any questions, you can just give me a shout, and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.